Alexa, turn on fan. Okay. Alexa, turn off fan. Okay. Alexa, turn on light three. Okay. Alexa, turn off light three. Okay. Hey everyone, Ashish and this side from the Wake Yourself. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are back with another exciting project that you will really love and in fact in the beginning you guys have already seen the demo of what we are going to learn in our today's video. So basically in our today's video we are going to control the home appliances uh, with the Alexa and in fact the module or you can say the development board which we will be using in our today's video to connect our ESP32 uh, to the Alexa as well as to the home appliances that's what we have already seen in a previous video if you guys haven't watched that video don't worry i'll attach the link with this video so that you guys can watch that video and you will get to the same page where we are right now so basically this is all that we will be learning and also this all things we will be doing using arduino id so i hope you will really love it so let's move ahead and let's straightforward go to the coding part to understand like what exactly uh, the coding is and how the things are getting controlled with the Alexa as well as with the IoT device that we have built in a previous video. So let's get ahead. All right, everyone. Now let's understand the code which we used to make this amazing project. So as you can see on your screen, I have this project on the Git repository. Currently, as you can see, it's in private mode, but by the time you will be watching this video, you will have it in the public mode so that you can download it and you can use that project to uh, implement and deploy at your location. So let me go to the Arduino IDE where I have this project already with me. But as you can see, the code is right here. But the problem is this may not work directly on your system. Because right now, what we are going to do is we are going to upload this code to our ESP32 dev board, which is 38 pins, which I have already shown you in my previous videos, right? So uh, for that, you need an additional libraries, which I have already added over here, right? And in this, you can see we have three different libraries in the zip format but we don't need all the three. We need only two out of these three. <clears throat> Basically, this is the one uh, which we need uh, definitely. So we have to upload this one or you can say we have to add this into the library. Secondly, out of these two, we have to add one. Uh, this second one, ESP async TCP. This is the one which you will be using when you will be working with Node MCU or you can say ESP8266 uh, Wi Fi module. But right now, we are not working with Node MCU, we are working with ESP32. So, in that case, we need this async TCP.zip. So, you have to add this and this library. So, let's go ahead and let's do it up. So basically in my case, it's already there. So I don't have to add it again, but just because I have to show it to you. So I'll simply go in here. I'll go to the location where I have it. So in here, this is the one which I have to add. This is basically for ESP32. So I'll use this one. So you can see, do you want to override the existing one? So in my case, just because it's already there, so I don't have to add it again. And I also, I don't want to do it again. So I'll simply say no. But in your case, it will start adding it to your uh, libraries. Similarly, you have to do for the other one. That is uh, your, uh, let's just a minute. That is this one, X-O-S-E-P-E-R-E-Z, F-A-U-X. More as uh, fucks more uh, ESP, you can say, right? So, this is the one which is the most important one because in our today's video, we are actually going to control our home appliances with the help of Alexa. So, uh, that is the reason we actually have to add this one. 
so in my case it's already there so that is the reason it is showing me some error maybe it's due to the different version but that's fine just because it's already there on my system maybe with a different version but in your case you can use this one and definitely it's gonna work for you because it will not be there on your system already if you already have uh, this library on your system maybe with a different version that's fine you can use the same one but if it is not working for you you can replace this one uh, the way you have already do it right so in this way we have done it now after you have added the libraries the next thing is we have to understand the code like what exactly we are doing in here so basically uh, right here what I have done is I have simply added all the GPIO pins which I will be using with respect to the lights and the fans because I am going to use the IoT device which I have already shown in my previous video that how we have deployed it from scratch using the ESP32 chip. So we have already seen in the previous video and also just because in my location or you can say in my bedroom I have three lights and one fan. So my project or my IoT device is deployed according to that only. So that is the reason this is the GPIO pins written as per that. So this is how I have done it. And uh, over here you can simply set up the Wi-Fi uh, SSID and password so that you can uh, directly connect to the network. You can connect to the router. You can connect to the uh, hotspot of your mobile phone the way you are working on it. And after that you can see I'm simply writing up the names like what will be the names I'll be suggesting or writing for my uh, like fans or the lights you can say right so basically I'm writing it like light 1 light 2 light 3 and uh, fan so I'm writing it this way after that I'm using the Fuxmo uh, to create an object because this is going to be used to create your web server and that web server will be used while discovering for the additional appliances uh, to connect to your Alexa device. So after that, uh, like firstly, what do you have to do is you just have to connect to your uh, nearest Wi-Fi. And what we are doing is we are doing it in a STA mode. Usually your ESP32 is by default in a station mode, but sometimes it can happen that uh, in your previous project, you may be using it in an access point mode. So that is the reason it's a good practice to uh, write that you are going to use it in a station mode. And that's what we have done, right? So I'm writing it in that way. And after that, I'm simply connecting it to my Wi-Fi. And once it is connected to the Wi-Fi, we'll get all the IP addresses, we'll get the SSID name and everything, right? And once it is done, what we will do is we will simply set up our pins uh, like how we are going to use them because in our case we are going to use four GPIO pins which will be used as an output because that is going to be connected to the relay uh, on my IoT device. So that is how we have done it here and we have simply uh, set up the pin mode and once I am connected to the network what I'll do is I'll simply create a web server because until you're, you are not on a network, you cannot uh, set up your appliances uh, to be connected to Alexa device. And uh, also you're setting up what port you will be using. After that, you are just enabling it that, okay, now we can uh, start working accordingly. And once you have enabled this, once you have started the server, once you have set up the port, now it's your chance that you are going to set up your devices virtually or you can say you're going to set up your uh, appliances virtually so that it can be discovered and later on you can use that same virtual uh, appliances or the virtual devices uh, to be controlled with respect uh, to your uh, Echo Dot, right? Because in my case, I'm using uh, the Echo Dot uh, fifth generation. So I'll be using that, but it also works with the third generation as well, right? So after that, uh, you are just checking up the states, like what you have got and based on the data that you have got, what you will be doing is you will be simply uh, controlling all your appliances. Let's say if I am talking about controlling my first appliances, so I'll simply talk to my uh, virtual assistant and uh, uh, that will simply uh, take the inputs and those inputs will be based on light one light two light three and fan just like i am just setting it up right now right 
and after that i am simply uh, setting up the conditions that when it should be turned on when it should be turned off so this is basically what all i am doing so lamp 1 means i am talking about light 1 similarly lamp 2 is for light 2 lamp 3 is for light 3 and fan is for fan so in this way i am setting it up so once you have done this we are simply setting up or you can say we are simply calling a function which will handle this entire situation and whenever you will request to turn on or off the appliances it will simply listen to it continuously and based on whenever you have requested it will simply do the actions accordingly so that is what we are doing in here and we have written it in the loop that means this is a continuous process and it is going to be done repeatedly so this is all about the code that we have written right here and now the next thing is you have to upload this code after setting up the ssid and password into your iot device and also i have shown you in my previous video that how do you upload the code to your iot device if you're not aware about that and if you haven't watched that video i'll simply recommend watch that video so that you can easily upload your program over there right once we are done uh, will move forward so now let me change the ssid and password and let me flash the program all right everyone now that we have uploaded the code to our iot device it's time to set up all the four appliances which we mentioned in the code now for that just open the alexa app and go to the devices now right here you can see there is no device or no appliances added yet just click on this plus button here it will ask you for the options add devices add group or combine speakers so i'll click on add device now over here if you will search for like what you have to connect to there will be nothing because we are not uh, like here with the devices which we have purchased from the market instead we have developed our own so for that you just need to go to the end here will be one option with the name others just click on that here it will ask you like uh, how do you want to connect it like whether using matter bluetooth zigbee or wi-fi or z-wave so here we are working using the wi-fi so i'll simply click on wi-fi now here it will ask you to discover the devices but make sure during this time all your devices and all uh, your iot device basically that is turned on with no problem so just click on discover devices now wait for it to look for all the devices available so that it can show you right here and you can set up accordingly so right you here you can see four devices found and connected so now next here you can see all the names which we added in the code all of them are here right now just select them one by one and set it up and also you can select in which group you want to add it so i want to add all of them in bedroom so i'll simply do it one by one so just continue light two so now you can see all my devices are right here and now it's up to you whether you want to control all of them using your voice or you want to control them using the buttons that is given right here because you have the option to control them from here as well so now it's up to you how do you want to control them but i prefer controlling them using the voice so that's why i use the voice for that all right so the device is set up and all the four appliances are also set up virtually on the app now let me show you a quick demo like whether it's working or not alexa turn on light one okay you can see this led is turned on that means this relay is switched and it is connected to this one right so let me turn off the other light which was by default on alexa turn off light three okay so you can see this was the light light one which i just turned on right alexa turn on light three okay alexa turn on fan okay alexa turn off 
all the appliances in the bedroom okay see this is how it works alexa turn on all the appliances in bedroom did you mean bedroom yes okay see this is how it works alexa turn on light 1 okay alexa turn off light 1 okay alexa turn on light 3 okay alexa turn on fan okay so this was it for today i hope you guys have really enjoyed this video if you guys have liked this video do click on the like button and if you guys are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you will never miss an update from our channel so this was it thank you so much and see you in our next video bye bye and take care